25 percent of the GDP. This weekend, they are debating the $1.9 trillion, uh, the sixth package. And here you are doing the most basic stuff, raising money for small business to let them live another day. What has been the most important takeaway that you're hearing from small businesses? Uh, do they feel that they're being, you know, forgotten by some of this stimulus in Washington? Do they feel like they just need a shot to open up? What has been the, the most important sort of takeaway that you hear from them? Yeah, I think it, it, it really is discussed with politicians all the way across the board almost. But, you know, the left and the right, for a long time, they just point the finger and yell at each other and stomp their feet and get nothing done. It's a lot of grandstanding. And meanwhile, these businesses are going out of business and nobody in Washington really seemed to care. Like what we put together took two days. You know, it took two days of brainstorming and coming up with this thing. And they've had a year. And it just, it's pathetic. Uh, and it really, I think, gives a lack of trust just in our political system. Like, if they can't figure out a way to help small business, and by the way, they're both Democrat, Republican, everyone owns small businesses, like, shame on them. That I think that was the takeaway. Yeah. Why is it that the small business guy and gal continues to get forgotten while these big companies have gained so much in revenue as well as their stock prices? More billionaires are happening within the Amazon story, and, and small business can't even open to compete. Yeah. I, I, you know, it, it probably if you have money, you Connections. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason um, for a lot of the rules they make, and that's another thing. I, you know, I remember speaking with a yoga studio, and like our mats are six feet apart. You can't get off the mat. We're not allowed to open, but you can walk onto an airplane and sit next to like. It, it just a lot of things made no sense, and a lot of the rules. You know, I was in New York. Hey, you can do this outdoor dining. You need this structure. You do this, and these business owners, restaurants, they'll put money into it, and a week later they change the rules, and it's almost like. The people in charge don't seem to even understand what they're doing. It's like, you understand people just spent money that they don't have to accommodate your new rules so they can run their business and then you just change it on the fly. So it's been a very aggravating, yeah. frustrating process for a lot of people. Well, you have given them light at the end of the tunnel, Dave, for sure. We so appreciate you uh, doing what you've done and also joining us to talk about it. Dave Pointnoy, we'll see you soon. We'll keep watching. Thank you Thank so you. much for being here.